Previously, on Waldwick Elimination Season 5, Peter Griffin became the next player gone from the show. The teams had to do a guessing game, with none other than trapped star, Harry Gibson. The Hurricanes were able to pull off another win, which put the erupting earthquakes up for elimination. So, who will be sent home today? Who will win today's challenge? And who will stop putting ketchup on my burgers? It's time for you to find out, on today's episode of, Waldwick Elimination, Season 5. <laughs> Hey Toothy, did you hear the recent news? Marble just confessed to Pearly, and Isaac just confessed to Melanie. That's awesome, right? Wow. That's amazing. I'm so happy that happened. Maybe I can try to tell my alliance at home. Wait, don't you have baseball? He's part of your alliance. And what about soap and donut? Oh, I actually have two alliances actually. One is obviously the one with baseball, donut, and soap. But the other is actually my own alliance I formed, which consists of Coney, Paper Airplane, and Fly Swat. So, why didn't you stay with Fly Swat during Season 4? Were you trying to break up with your alliance? Of course not Pen. He was totally fine letting me meet up with some new people. Trust me, Paper Airplane and Coney would most likely do the same as well. Okay, thank you for answering my question. Say, who do you think will be sent off the show today? I was actually thinking Murdoch, since no one really knows him that well. Well, I don't have an answer to do this question, so let's just see what happens. As you can probably tell, I am in an awesome mood today. I mean, we are almost close to the merge. Which will be the time where the teams will be broken up. I just hope I make it that far, since I had a unfair elimination back in Season 4. I just wish that people can try to respect me on who I am, and not judge me because of my foolishness. After watching Trapped Episode 3, I can totally feel Isaac's pain. I am so sad that he lost his dad. I am so worried about my dad right now, since he might not survive. I do not want to lose my dad, since he's a great dude. As much as Season 5 is going on, I think the eliminations will start getting harder when we continue farther on in the game. Well, let's just see what happens. How are you guys doing? It's your man James Victor here. Today, I will be your prize hander. Let's start off with the prize votes. Oh boy, this will be so good. Here we go. Brat won the prize last time, so he doesn't get any prize votes. Murdoch and Farron got one vote apiece. Harry Potter got two votes. Isabella and Shelley both got four votes, which means... Boombox wins the prize, at 8 votes. He will be receiving immunity. It's for the next time the earthquakes face elimination. Now, let's get started with the elimination. If I call your name, you will be safe from elimination, and you will get a piece of white paper. The person who doesn't get one, will be sent home. Here we go. Farron, Anissa, you guys were able to not receive a single vote in the voting. Great job on your safety, Harry, you're safe as well. Only one person voted for you, and you were able to survive. Good job dude, Murdoch, you're safe with two votes. Great job staying in. You're one step close to the million, alright, you three got more than two votes. Trust me, the bottom three is very hard to survive. So, for this, I will be announcing the final two people, safe. The last two players, safe with four votes, are Brad and Boombox. Congrats on your safety guys. I'm sorry to say this Shelly, but with 12 votes against the viewers, you are eliminated. I feel so bad for you. Wait, Shelly got eliminated. Oh no. That's not good at all. This is not gonna happen. I can't believe she's gone. Listen up Fron, I know you're a little sad, but it's the voters choice. Being sent home is terrible, but trust me, you had to go home as well. 
So, do your best, and try to win for me. Good luck buddy. I'm sorry to see this happen to you Shelly. But remember, we all have to leave the show. Trust me, I wanted you to go far as well, but I guess it's not the case here. Well, this might be sad for all of you guys, since I'm a good teammate. But remember, please don't give up, and try to do your best. Good luck you guys, I hope you all do well. See you at the finale. Poor Shelly. I wanted her to make it very far this season. Well, looks like it's not gonna happen this time. That's okay, she will have other chances. Maybe in season 7 or 10. Looks like I'm the only girl left on the earthquakes. Let's hope I try to win Juan Diaz, my boyfriend. Today's challenge will be testing your skills with fruit. One of our kitchen staff made a fruit smoothie today and he told us a great challenge to do. The challenge is another memory challenge. You have to guess what's in the smoothie, and then recreate it. He said that he might have put in more than one of the same fruit in, so be very careful. The team that perfectly memorizes all the fruit, will win the challenge, so, let's get started. If you're kinda confused on what's in the smoothie, I'll show you which fruits I put in the smoothie. The recipe for the smoothie is as follows. Two raspberries, one strawberry, one lemon, and one kiwi. Don't tell the other players, since they have to taste it. Note, I will be judging the smoothies, so I'll see you later on in the challenge. My gramps always made smoothies a lot. One of my favorite combos he made was a normal smoothie with blueberries and strawberries. Listen up everyone. We are not doing well. We already lost two members in a row, and faced elimination twice in a row. We don't want that to happen again. We want to try to make to merge as a whole team. So, we need someone to memorize the smoothie, and then make it. Who's going to be up this time? How about me? Mind if I do this challenge? I can just memorize it, and then use my one to summon the smoothie. That's actually not a bad idea. If we want to win this challenge, we need someone smart. So Harry, I think you're perfect for this challenge. Just try not to screw it up. Okay? I'll do my best, okay? Magic is a hard skill to master. Luckily, my magic wand is good at listening and it always works every time. Let's hope it works this time. In fact, let me try to change the colors of the confessional booth, since white is kind of a bit of a bland color. On second thought, it doesn't really affect big room colors. So, who would want to memorize the smoothie, and then make it? Any volunteers? Come on, don't be shy guys. I feel like I might do well in this challenge, so maybe I can try to go up for this one. Well, let's hope you give it a good try. Trust me, smoothies are kind of hard to make. Plus, you're great at memorizing things 11. So maybe you can do well at this challenge. If Eraser competed in this challenge, he would definitely do well at this. Eraser would be a big help for this challenge, although, he did cheat once in BFDI, which I'm kind of not happy about. But no worries, that was the past, this is the present. Let's hope that Eleven scores big for this team. If you guys don't know, Eraser is one of me and Penn's best friends. He's often reading books, studying for tests, talking about his fear of pentagons, and being sarcastic. I guess doing this challenge might be good, since I haven't really been getting screen time, so this is a great opportunity for me to have the spotlight. Okay players. Your time is finally up. It's time for me to taste your smoothies. Let's see if you got the right pattern. Hurricanes, we're gonna let you go first this time. Here's our smoothie. I hope we got the pattern correct. Well, it tastes very good. But you forgot one specific ingredient. You forgot to add the lemon, so it's a bit more sweeter. So, your one ingredient. Let's just hope that the earthquakes do better than this. Here's the smoothie. Let's hope I get this right, 
so I can win for my team. We lost twice in a row, so we don't want this to happen again. Well son, I have to say that. Are totally correct. You finally broke your losing streak. Your team is safe from elimination. Congratulations! Yes. The earthquakes are safe. Awesome. I can't wait to celebrate. Well who? Oh well, oh well, we lost the game. But this is very quite the same. Oh well, oh well, we lost the game. But this is very quite the same. This is the second to last team elimination, so next episode, these guys might have a chance to make the merge. But for right now, vote for one of these six players to leave the show, and for one to win the prize, Blocky has immunity, so don't vote for him to be eliminated, or for the prize. Remember, the player with the most votes, will be sent packing. Voting ends, on the day of the ending screen. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. And we will see you all in episode 9, the halfway mark. This is Waldwick, former third place contestant of NJT Elimination, signing off.